Hi, I'm John with Sultana Education Foundation, and these are my boys, Henry and Calvin. And we were doing a little beach hike near Tolchester Beach, and we found a little animal on the beach that we thought would be neat to teach you about. And that animal is a crayfish. You can see that much like a lobster, the crayfish has some large antennae in the front to allow it to feel around. Its eyes are fairly small, uh, because most of the time crayfish are going to spend their time going along the bottom. Um, just like crabs, they're going to be looking to eat mostly dead things. So they're going to be going along the bottom looking for things that have sunk down in the water and then they're going to use their claws to tear into them to feed themselves. When holding a crayfish, the best place to pick it up is right where the tail meets the body um, because then your fingers are clear of where the claws can reach. The crayfish breathes through gills, so when it's out of the water, you might notice that it's able to bubble some water out of its mouth. And so it's able to, for a short time anyway, recycle the water that's in its shell to allow it to get some new oxygen. So it's almost like a bubbler in an aquarium. Much like a crab, a crayfish has an exoskeleton. So when it grows too big for its shell, it needs to slough, which means the shell will open and it will back out uh, and it'll be soft shelled until it can reform its hard shell around the outside. Okay, so a crayfish, lots of people say it looks like a baby lobster. So you can see that it has two claws in the front, okay? And let's count its legs. How many legs do we see? Uh, um, six. One, two, well, it's kind of tricky because it has two of them folded back. So I see one, two, three, four on one side. So that means it's four eight. on the other side. That's right. Eight. That means it has eight legs. And it has a tail. You can see the tail is curled up. Can I touch it, Daddy? And this one looks like it might even have eggs in there. Can I see? And when we peel back this crayfish's tail, we can tell that she's a female uh, carrying her eggs. So we're gonna leave her alone because uh, that's probably hard work for her. So we hope that she'll have good success. So we were fortunate to find this crayfish on our beach hike today. And we hope you enjoyed meeting her and learning some things about these fascinating species. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out more of our Sultana virtual classrooms.